the political actors were guided by sectarian ideas, uh, religion, DP was a party for the Catholics. UPC was a party for Protestants, you know, some Muslims. Kawaka Yeka was a party for Baganda Protestants. Imagine, just rubbish. And the, the people just wasted a lot of our time. I was there, I was part of those groups. This is the advantage I have. What you fellows, you call history, I call current affairs. Because I was there, I was uh, in those groups. But by 1965, with the student movement, we started saying, ah, ah, Omso Gakova, Ntebano Chiawaka, Wateba Chidi. We started saying that these people don't seem to know what they are talking about. Why do you talk about? And that's where, if, if I had time, I would, of course, that's where now you, the business people, should come in. Because a business person actually is a, a modernizer. Because for him, he's after a market. And when I have a product, I don't care about the religion of who, of, of who buys from me. I don't care about his tribe. I don't look at, at, at whether he's a woman or a man. What I want is a customer. And that's how business actually helped transformation in Europe. The, the middle class, uh, they were calling them in France, the bourgeoisie, were for integration. They rejected those sectarian ideas in France and where there was the French Revolution and so on. So we, the NRM, rejected that sectarian approach. And we said, no, what we care about is prosperity. And me, as a cattle keeper, the people who give me prosperity are not really the cattle keepers like me. Because the cattle keeper has milk, I have milk. He can't buy from me, I can't buy from him. He has got beef, and I have got beef. I cannot buy from him, he cannot buy from me. In, in Ankara, they also produce bananas. So I have bananas, my neighbor has bananas. I can't buy from my neighbor, my neighbor cannot buy from me. So when I say, when I preach Bunyankwereism, I am actually an enemy, first and foremost, of the Bunyankwere. Because I am against their prosperity. The ones who buy what the Bunyankwere produce are after the other people. The people who don't, who don't have milk are the ones who buy the milk. The ones who don't have the beef are the ones who buy the beef. The ones who don't have the bananas are the ones who buy the bananas. So the idea of sectarianism is anti-business. And, and therefore, anti-prosperity, including creation of jobs, producing products, and so on. So, the first thing we did, NRM did, was to resolve the issue of, of the politics. We brought the, we brought the politics of interest and we were against the, the politics of identity. Uh, I am this, I am this, uh, 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 we don't care. What we care about are the interests of the people, dealing with the needs of the people hunger, lack of transport, poverty, insecurity. This is how the NRM comes in. And that's how we're able to create the NRM, which united the country politically. Because in 1962, when they had elections, 
when we had elections, I was there. I didn't vote. I was 18. I didn't vote. At that time, the voting was 21. But my brother, Kategaya, who was in UPC, he was one year older than me. He was not supposed to vote, but he voted eight times, actually. <laughs> so the, when they had those elections of 1962, none of the parties could get majority. Because there is no tribe in Uganda, which is even which is even twenty percent of the population. There is no religion which is which is even forty percent of the population. So once you take that line, you, you are an enemy of, of the country. You can never get uh, stability. So for us, when we rejected that, we were able to unite the people. And that's why you see every time we have elections, NRM wins on the first round. We're, we're constitutionally, we're supposed to go for second round in case you don't get more than 50%. But we have never gone for a second round. Just first round, NRM will come away to go. You can get away. You can get away. You can get away. <laughs> the one I'm going to say, you know, when you wrestle and nobody knocks the, the other one down properly, the one I'm going to say, Bagwachikazi, they are falling like. <laughs> the one I'm going to say, they are falling down like women. Nobody, it's not clear. Who, <laughs> it's not clear who has won. So we always knock down these groups, Chisaja, uh, very clearly. So that's number one. And that, that, that creates stability, stability. Ideology brings unity, and unity brings stability. That's what I was telling you during the campaign. Then we saw the importance of, of infrastructure. I don't know whether people were, other people were seeing it, but for us, we saw it. And we insisted, although we have got many things, let's start with the, the roads. And, and let's start with the power. And then the, the social infrastructure, the schools, the health centers. And as, as you came here, you, 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 you saw the, the, the road. I don't know whether it is still in good condition. It, it has started. Uh, needs to be redone again. But from one corner of Uganda to the other corner, east, west, north, south, they are now all, as, as the right honorable Nabanja was saying, they are now linked by tarmac roads. So you have unity and peace and infrastructure, including electricity. The electricity now, the problem is that we have got so much power, we are only using a part of it. 